beer tubers welcome back to another episode of maxwell stars beer review tonight we're going to take a look at one of britain's finest fuller's esb fuller's esb of course originates from britain um from the grip was it brewed by the fuller smith and turner plc griffin brewery in london uh 5.9 percent abv uh extra special champion ale british style uh, bitter uh one of the iconic beers of the brand the, the ESB. In fact, I believe over there, I could be wrong, somebody will probably can correct me, but over there, ESB is their trademark. Uh, over here, an ESB can be any kind of bitter beer created in the British style. Here, over there, this is ESB. Please, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. Anyway, so, yeah, extra special champion ale. Uh, I'm going to give it a try. So let's pop it open here. Mmm. Wow. That's nice looking. Lots of carbonation. Nice gold, amber, and, and orange hues to that, as well as a slightly off-white head. Nice amount of head, and it looks like it's sticking around. It's dying a bit. I kind of like how the carbonation sticks to the side of the glass. It's, inside the glass, it kind of looks like, like Coca-Cola or 7-Up, like, or ginger ale, you know, something like a, like a soda pop would have where the carbonation sticks all over rather than just the bottom of the glass. It means that it's well carbonated. At least to me it does. Hmm. Nice, gentle citrusy hops, but it's also got like a hint of strawberry or something. Some, some kind of berry kind of smell. Not a sweet berry, but more like more like strawberry or hmm. Something a little bit of more zesty tang. Citrusy, tart. Yeah, I'm picking up a lot of strawberry. Very nice. Hmm. Let's give it a taste. Hmm. Oh, nice. Nice sweet taste in the center in the back of the mouth of caramel and brown sugars. Bits of toffee. A mild, earthy and citrusy top stinging in the back of the throat that lingers there for a bit. After that last sip, I'm, I'm still feeling a little bit in the back, although it is fading away. Still there. Still there. Touch of it there left, but it's pretty much gone. Whoa. Mmm. The bitterness kind of hits you in the, well, lingers in the back of the tongue, but it hits you in the back of the tongue as well as around the sides of the tongue. And a touch of the roof of the mouth. Hmm. I love that that nice caramel brown sugar taste. But it's not sweet to the point where it's cloying. It's sweet, but it blends in with the bitterness. Neither of which are overpowering. It 
it's one thing about this is it's damn smooth. I find it really easy to drink. The carbonation isn't overbearing. It's not, it, it's there, but it's not to the point where it's too much carbonation. It's got a very nice carbonation to it. Oh, that's nice. And it's, it, it's not a heavy beer. I mean, it's decently bodied, but I'd say it's around a medium. Mmm. So easy to drink. Yeah, I'm going to sit down with this one for a bit while I still can. Be right back. And we're back with Fuller's ESB. So what did I think? Very nice. Don't really have a whole lot of uh, English bitters, like true English bitters around these parts to really compare this with, but it's hard to imagine any ESB that really tastes better than this. It's got nice tastes of like of buttery toffee, caramel, uh, nice hoppy goodness, uh, but not too bitter. Um, brown sugar. It, it just came together well and was velvety smooth. Very nice beer. Easily drinkable, as you can see. It, it's amazing. Uh, I, I gotta say that I really like E. Fuller's ESB, and it's definitely worth picking up. If you have never tried it, definitely pick it up. There's, there, there's almost no better beer out there. We can get to here in cans. Some places get it in bottles. We used to get it in bottles, but uh, from what I can tell, there's really no difference between this in can or the bottle. So, I'm gonna give this a 4.5 out of 5. Might be biased because I just. Maybe I'm really wowed by it, but it's it's really good and certainly worth trying. So yeah, Fuller's ESB. If you can find it, definitely a good beer. Get it. Thanks for watching Maxwell Stairs Beer Review. Hope you had a good one. Talk to you later.